In this video, I'm going to walk you through the installation process of your 551787A-3 LSA Supercharger Alternator and Power Steering Bracket Kit. We're also going to install our 551789 LSA Belt Tensioner and Idler Bracket Kit on the passenger side, as well as the 551757 Throttle Body Spacer in the middle. So let's get started. We're going to start by installing the belt tensioner bracket on the passenger cylinder head. It's going to mount flush against the head, but it is going to utilize this innermost bolt hole behind the water pump. So to access the hole, we are going to need to unbolt the water pump from the engine and install the bracket. Now that the water pump's off the engine, we can go ahead and install our belt tensioner bracket on the cylinder head. And now that the belt tensioner bracket is installed on the engine, we can go ahead and reinstall our water pump, bolt on our belt tensioner, and our idler bracket. Now our idler bracket is going to come with new hardware and spacers that go behind the plate, and it's going to utilize these three mounting bolts on the passenger side of the water pump. So you can take your original bolts when you reinstall the water pump and toss them. And now we'll install our idler pulley with our bolt and our thick washer through the front and our step spacer in the rear. And finally, our factory LSA belt tensioner with our bolt and our thick washer through the front and it's going to bolt right through our belt tensioner bracket. And now we're ready for the driver's side. To start the install for the alternator and power steering bracket on the driver's side, we're going to start with just the front plate and the lowest bolt and the longest spacer. And it's going to go in the bottom bolt hole on the block down here by the timing cover. And this is going to free up our hands for the rear plate. For the rear plate, we're going to start with the innermost hole up by the water pump. We'll feed our bolt through the front plate, load our spacer, pass the bolt through the rear plate, and then install our rear spacer. And finally thread the bolt into the cylinder head. And we'll just repeat this process three more times. The idler pulleys are going to install in these two inner holes with a bolt and a thick washer on the front of the pulley, a step spacer on the rear, through the plate, and a nut on the back.
The power steering pump is going to install with three bolts and spacers through the front plate, the spacer on the back, and they're going to thread into the pump casing. The alternator is going to install with two bolts with nuts on the back. And now we're ready for our power steering pump pulley and our belt. To install the belt, route it through all the appropriate accessories and pulleys, leaving it loose on one of the smooth pulleys, for instance the water pump pulley or just a smooth idler pulley. Be sure that the belt is seated in all the groove pulleys and is riding in the middle rib of the eight rib pulleys on the supercharger and the belt tensioner. And now we're ready for our throttle body. To go along with your supercharger bracket, we do recommend one of our 551-757 throttle body spacers. They're available in half inch and one inch versions, and they're going to give you a little more belt clearance just to the left of the throttle body motor. And now your supercharger is installed. Be sure to like and subscribe our YouTube channel and check us out on Facebook and Instagram. We'll see you next time.